Bishop is an additional infrastructure of the International Space Station operated by Nanorax. Its main function is the airlock, meaning that it is used to move payloads from inside to outside of the ISS and vice versa. Besides the airlock function, Bishop increases considerably the typology of activities that can be performed on the ISS making it possible to perform activities hardly feasible before in terms of payload volumes. When we look at what we can do with the Bishop, we can do lots. We can deploy satellites, we can deploy cargo, we can use it as a research facility. It has power, it has Wi-Fi. Uh, we can use it internally as a backdrop to, to commercial projects, though nothing will compete with the cupola, I know that. It's a little bit of commercial real estate we can use as we wish. Uh, and outside the space station, there's, a, there's a, a lot of things we can do from research to tech demonstrations, uh, to leaving things on the outside for pointing, uh, all sorts of things that we can do with the Bishop airlock. So for me, this is not only putting in an airlock that is five times larger than the current one from JAXA. It's also putting some real estate uh, on the International Station that's uh, owned by a private company in partnership with you at Salini. The Bishop has been realized entirely with private funds and will be used mainly for commercial purposes, thus paving the way for the commercial exploitation of low Earth orbits. Colonization of a low Earth orbit, you can say that has certainly entered a new season. Uh, commercialization, opportunities for commercialization and uh, uh, ways to make new business thanks to the opportunities that are offered by the International Space Station and the latest add-ons uh, to the station. We've just seen the launch of uh, uh, the Bishop airlock or as my my friend uh, Jeffrey Mumber says a new piece of uh, real estate in lower earth orbit and uh, thanks to uh, an element like this one and others that for sure will uh, will be launched in the future uh, there will be more and more opportunities for uh, entrepreneurs or companies that want to make use of the unique environment of microgravity to test uh, new materials pharmaceutics or whatever requires or take advantage of the unique uh, environmental opportunity of a low Earth orbit microgravity environment. We're at a very exciting time in where the commercial LEO marketplace is going. We have stability with the International Space Station. It's going to be there for a number of years. And what we're going to see more and more, I think, with the new American administration is a willingness and a desire to return to our natural allies, our historic allies, and work together internationally. So I believe this should be a very exciting time where we, we will be able to reach out to our friends in Italy and in Europe and, and think through how we can work together commercially in LEO and taking the next steps to the moon. Bishop has been realized in Italy at the Thales Alenia Space Italia plants in Turin. The ISS is thus enriched with an additional module made in Italy. Furthermore, Nanorax decided to choose Italy as location for its European business. We are of course very happy that uh, Nanorax has chosen Italy as uh, the country to open its uh, office in Europe. And of course we are also delighted about the fact that uh, the, the bishop has been uh, actually developed by Italian Space in Turin which with a bishop is adding a new uh, element to its collection of uh, elements and modules that are currently flying on the International Space Station, demonstrating once more that Italy has a full commitment to space exploration and is ready also for the next steps in these fantastic opportunities which is offered by space exploration.